What is up friends, your boy Daniel back at it again. Doing another overnighter here on the lagoon. We're on the west side this time, going to Jones Canal. Gonna be targeting some snappers, some sheep's head. I might even hit the flats, but the game tonight is catch, clean, and cook. So hopefully we get on some species and uh, have a good dinner. As always, appreciate you guys coming along. Let's go have some fun. to our campsite. It's my first time camping at this one. This is campsite number seven at the Canaveral National Seashore. I think it's called Jones Creek or Jones Canal. Let's take a look. I like it. A lot of trees blocking us from the wind. It's right here in this little can channel. We'll cut. We're gonna try fishing that. Maybe hit the flats. Maybe hit some docks. Anyways, let me get gear unloaded and we'll start fishing. Fish on. Nice little mangrove. First one of the day. This is what we're targeting, guys. Need one a little bit bigger, though. Oh, that's a good sized fish. I might be a keeper. Oh, yeah. There we go. Looks like we got our first keeper of the day. Nice. Take a look at that. Look at the size of that hermit crab. My God, that's the biggest hermit crab I've ever seen. That thing's bigger than my fist. Look at that, wow. That thing is huge. Let's take a look at him, see if he comes out. In comparison, this is what I typically see. Look at the size difference of this hermit crab and that one. My God. Look. <laughs> That's wild. Let's see if he comes out. There he is. He came out. Look how big that thing is. Little sheep's head. Oh. See you, buddy. Looks a little small. Ah, just under. We'll let this guy go. Oh, little sheep's head. Right, got a nice size snapper here, guys. This one's gotta be about 11, 12. Right. Here we go, awesome. Man, there are a lot of mangrove snappers down in this little hole. But this guy probably won't cut it. He looks at about nine. All right, another snapper. Another good size snapper, yeah. Well, 
all things considered, I'd say it was a pretty successful day. Got four keeper mango snappers. So we got plenty of dinner for a night. All right, y'all, had a good time fishing. Caught a dozen plus fish, probably two dozen. Mango snappers and sheep's head, four keepers. So super happy about that. Plenty of fish for dinner tonight. Anyways, it's about 5.30. Sun's gonna go down in a couple hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up camp, get a fire going, and we'll get that dinner prepared. All right, so on the menu tonight, we got something very special. We are gonna make a spicy Korean fish stew, also known as a melantang or a jjigae. It's something I grew up eating. My mom used to make when I was a kid. It's best made with fresh fish, and that's what we got tonight. So I'll walk you through the process and really excited about this one. All right, we're gonna start off with our fresh garlic, ginger, and shallots. Go ahead, toss that into the pot. It's a very simple dish and straightforward. It's like a one pot deal. So we're just gonna throw everything in there, stew it up in the fire, and then it'll be good to go. One secret to peeling ginger is take a spoon. Skin comes right off. Then we got some peppers. I got a big jalapeno and some Korean, uh, Korean peppers as well. So just gonna chop those up into nice chunks. Our scallions. And there you go. All right, now to the main part of our meal, our fresh fish. So I got four good sized mangrove snappers here. Probably won't need all four. Actually, I won't need all four, so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare two. I'll probably take two home or maybe eat them for breakfast. We'll see what happens. All right, so I got my fish descaled, beheaded. Gonna give those a quick rinse. All right, our two clean fish. Gonna take our fish, cut that into uh, some little chunks. So a couple of key ingredients for this dish is uh, gochukaru, which is Korean chili powder or chili flakes. So I'm gonna give that a liberal amount. So the recipe calls for daikon radish. I didn't see any at the store. So actually what I did have at home was something called kaktugi, which is a pickled daikon radish, kimchi style. So we're gonna throw that in there. I think this is gonna add a really cool depth and layer of flavor. So throw that on top. And then, some Korean chili paste, gochujang. Last thing we wanna add is some soy sauce. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna throw in some mushrooms. Uh, classically, it's usually made with shiitake mushrooms or something of that nature. This is um, like a gourmet pack I bought at the store, so it's got a pretty, pretty cool uh, variety of uh, trumpet mushrooms. Um, oyster mushrooms and mayatake, which is hen of the woods. So some of my favorite mushrooms to eat. Take some water. All right, so we've got the pot over the fire. We'll give that about half an hour and see how it looks. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks pretty great. All right, y'all, dinner is ready. Let's take one last look. Take a look at that. Piping hot. That looks so good. That smells even better. Take our rice. Let's give it a bite. <laughs> Oh yeah. Ooh, that's hot. That's good. We got fish. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. 
Another successful dinner, folks. That's fantastic. All right, y'all just got done with that delicious melon that spicy fish stew. Came out wonderfully, super happy about that. That was a super success. Anyway, sun's about to go down, so I think I'm gonna call it a night. As always, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the morning. Hey, good morning, friends. Had a great night's sleep. Temperature got down to about 50 degrees, so it was nice, cool, and comfortable. Um, slept for about 9-10 hours, which is actually quite astonishing now that I think about it because I'm traditionally a poor sleeper when it comes to it at home. Out here, I sleep really well. Anyways, I've got a cool breakfast in mind. I haven't made it before, but it's something I just thought about in my head. Um, we'll get that started, but as always, first things first, we'll get some coffee going. All right, so for breakfast, we have another elaborate meal planned. We're gonna go ahead and make a tenderloin tip hash. Haven't made this before, so let's see how it goes. Sounds delicious in my head, so I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Hopefully. So I got my rust potato. We'll dice that into little cubes. Green onions. And I got some mushrooms. These are uh, Hen of the Woods, Mayatake mushrooms. They're actually my favorite. If you've never had them before, do yourself a favor and give it a try. Put some olive oil in the pan. I got tenderloin tips. Take my chopped up veggies. Lastly, we'll throw in a couple of eggs. All right, there we are. Tenderloin tip hash. Let's see how it tastes. Very good, very good. All right, and that's it. Breakfast done and in the books. Well, it's about that time. I think I gotta go ahead and start packing up and uh, get ready to head on home. What a gorgeous morning, absolutely beautiful. Look at the water. Well, that just about does it for us guys. Had a great trip, had a fantastic time. Fortunately, all good things must come to an end. Really, truly appreciate you guys coming along. If you enjoyed that video, help a brother out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I promise we'll do another adventure again here soon. Love you guys. Peace.